How's it going guys? I'm Paradise and we have another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video for you. This is going to be your guide to the legendary spear Gungnir. That's right, it is Odin's spear. You can actually get this in the game and this video is going to show you exactly how you get it and what it does. So if this video does help you out, make sure to drop a like and sub for more content like this and put a comment down below if you are going to go after the legendary spear Gungnir yourself. So the spear itself, much like the other legendaries, has a very unique perk. Obviously Excalibur and Mjolnir, Thor's hammer, have their own unique perks. This one has that the spear's reach is extended by a force field, which makes the reach of the spear extremely big compared to all other weapons. You can really jab enemies from quite far away, and because of this, I actually think it's one of the more stronger weapons in the game. You can really hit things from quite a distance, and when dual wielding this, just like you can with the other legendaries, so you can have the spear in one hand and Excalibur in the other, it really does come into its own, and the different AoE moves that are part of the spear combo are really, really strong, and in in fact, you have to be careful with them because it's actually quite easy to kill the civilians because you have such long reach and big AoE capability with this spear. Now this weapon is only possible to get quite near the end of the game, and while it has nothing to do with the plot or the story, it is near the end of the game so this is your official spoiler warning. So with the spoiler warning out of the way, let's continue. The way that you actually get this spear is again towards the end of the game after you've unlocked all of the different provinces in England. Once you've done this, you will then unlock another mission with Sigurd to go back to Norway in Horde Folker. Once you're in Norway, Sigurd will actually lead you to the most northeastern part of Horde Folker. You can see on the map now it will lead you to a cave and this is the location. Now you can do this during that mission or you can come back later, however if you do come back later you have to sail here and find the cave again and while it's not that difficult it does add a bit of time so if you haven't already done this mission, doing it during the mission will actually be a lot more efficient for you. Once you're in the cave, but not too far in, keep an eye out on the left hand side. Sigurd will go off to the right, but there is actually a small passageway leading to the left. You simply follow that, and then you will see a room with the spear stuck into the side of the wall, with light coming off it in all different directions. Now in order to pick up Odin's spear, you actually seemingly have to have all four of the adrenaline bars unlocked. This means that you need to be a high enough level to reach the additional three adrenaline perks in the skill tree, however if you are at this stage in the game you probably do have enough power level points in order to reach these, and if you don't remember that you can freely respec your power level so that you can complete the tree in however way you like, and if you don't have those three adrenaline bars unlocked, you can see in the video now where they are located in the skill tree. So make sure that you have all three of those extra adrenaline perks unlocked, and then go back to the spear, pick it up, and that's it, the legendary spear Gungnir is yours. You can go out there and wreck different soldiers with the incredible range of the force field bonus added onto this spear. It's really, really fun to use, a really unique weapon compared to all of the other ones, and it's kind of flashy as well. It's actually a little bit distracting when you have this on your back and you're just running around playing because it's got that force field effect. It really does kind of catch your eye and is actually quite distracting. But it's made up for because it is one of the more powerful weapons in the game, at least from what I can tell. The incredible reach, the decent damage, it is a really, really solid weapon. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like and do subscribe for more content like this. I hope you're all staying safe out there. The world is kind of crazy right now, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys wanna chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.